The issue is that most whey proteins in particular are made of isolates and concentrates generally, sometimes uh, some protein hydrolysates. And what you'll find is, uh, you know, a proprietary blend on the listing label. And in this blend, uh, the company doesn't really have to disclose uh, the amount of anything that's in that blend. So for instance, uh, if you look at the back of a label of whey protein powder, and it's, uh, it's a blend of whey concentrate and isolate, you know, that's great. Concentrate can be good, uh, an effective source of protein, as can isolate. Uh, but the issue is, is that uh, the concentrate could be a, a really cheap, low quality one, and there could be just a tiny little trace amount of isolate. So in that example, let's say you, an unscrupulous manufacturer, put a proprietary blend in there uh, because they got a delivery of some really cheap whey concentrate that they got for a good price that was low quality. Um, in this case, that whey concentrate could be, you know, as low as 25 or 30% total protein. Now, uh, the uh, the claims on the label in terms of the pro the total protein content may be met with that blend. You know, everything might be on the up and up there. Uh, but what you can look out for is the is the serving size in particular is how much protein is present per serving relative to the serving size. Um, so you take a look at the label and let's say you're you know, you're dealing with whey protein and product A is in a 35 gram total serving, let's say there's 20 grams of, of total protein, that's gonna be relatively low, um, indicating a lower quality protein. On the other hand, let's say for that same 35 gram uh, serving size, another uh, type of whey has maybe 25 or even up to 28 grams in that total 35 gram serving size. That one would be higher quality and, and that's what you want to look out for. You want to uh, get the uh, protein with the most total protein per serving. Um, those proteins are higher purity.